Hello, reformers, and welcome back to Burizno 0.74. Now, when we left off, we had just taken Nelag Castle, which is all the way over here, very close to Reichberg, which actually may give us a very good advantage if the Valahir clan are still at war against the Reich, which I do not believe is the case. So we are in a little bit of trouble if Nelag Castle comes under siege, but yes, as we know, Lord Marcus is a very worthy vassal and I am very hopeful that he will do his very best to defend it but for now we are going to be heading on I have been rejuvenating ourselves a little bit at Voldeberg not exactly the greatest amount of restoration I could have done but I decided well we need to get a move on we do need to get a move on rather fast I'm actually thinking should we get some glory seeking men because they do become volunteers what did the volunteers become Bounty scouts and... Oh, yes. Caravan guards. Okay. Yes, we're going to be going for gladiators instead then, it appears. And, yeah, more glory-seeking men then, apparently. Hmm. Very strange. Okay, well, that is fine. We are at 74%. I was hopeful that we could find a ransom broker in here. There's the fellow for the quest. Hmm... Well, you never know. We may lose Volderberg at some point in the future, but it's it's not looking very good for anyone that attempts to attack it. But, of course, do bear in mind that they did not attack with Kaiser Otto IV, which would most likely sign our death warrant in many cases. I do believe he has a bunch of unique units, as far as I can remember. Hmm. Yes, I'm not entirely sure right now. They've changed quite a few things in the new version, which I do appreciate. But many of the things I am unfamiliar with for now. Okay. This looks like a very good prospect right here. We have a lot of prisoners. 86 of them to rescue. And they have, what is it? 287? 287 units in the garrison here. We have 333. Oh, no. Why? Why do they do this? Why do they do... Ah. Okay, 60 hours. Ouch. Okay, that is very damaging indeed. I do not know whether I have enough food for 60 hours of waiting. Well, we'll see. Oh. Oh, no, never mind. Phew. I was a little bit worried there for a second. Okay, so Drahara and the Valley here clan have now been degraded from their trade agreement to a non-aggression treaty. So it appears Drahara and the Valley here clan have a pretty good relationship, which is not good for us. If the Valahir clan decides to come to the aid of Drahara, then we are going to be not in a very good spot at all. But thankfully enough, we don't appear to be getting interrupted at Sungetcha Castle, which I do actually like quite a bit. And we do have a lot of commotion going on at Murdenhall. One of the Maccabean vassals is attempting to take it back from the Tolranians. So this is good. This is very good. Oh no. Jahara and the Realm of the Falcon have also a non-aggression treaty. This is not good. It appears everyone has good relations with everyone else, apart from, obviously, the people that are at war against each other right now. But, oh no. I'm a little bit worried. I'm a little bit worried that yet another faction is going to declare war on us soon. But you never know, we may be able to escape the watchful eyes of quite a few people up until the point when we sneak up on them and attack them itself. Okay, so wait a second, what's, uh, what's going on here? A lone beggar comes up to you and asks for orums. He smells of rot and his stench is unbearable. Give the poor man a hundred orums? Yes. Why not? Okay. <laughs> yes, some of these choices, I would say, are reasonably obvious until you are playing the evil character. And we have Baron Theobald attempting to take Voldeberg, which is actually quite sad, I gotta say. But, as you can see here, Lord Marcus is patrolling around Voldeberg. I am so hopeful that he goes into attack. Maybe he might decide to do that. That would be really nice of him if he did. Oh, look at this! Lord Xi Jin is accompanying Lord Marcus's party. Oh, yes. That's what we want to see. We want to see that. Hopefully, they will both go in against the Reich vassals and defend Voldeberg. I am very impressed with the AI in Parisno usually, so I'm actually hopeful that they will do something like that. That would be excellent. But without further ado, 
Oh, now he's visiting Nellai Castle. No! Why are you visiting Nellai Castle? How dare you? Okay, never mind. Let us lead our soldiers in an assault, and we will see... Ah, oh, the siege tower. The siege tower brings me pain every time I see it. Oh, yes. Okay. We are going to be not in a very good spot here. The Drahara does have some pretty decent ranged units, and we do not. We have three archers. And that brings me to the next point. I probably should have re-tagged some of our archers and brought them up to the top of the list. So, yes, as soon as I knew that we had a siege tower, probably should have done that. That would have been a good idea, but nevertheless, it has been done. We have constructed the siege tower and we will be making our way towards the walls. But right now, I am not holding out too much hope. However, we do have Silvethi Ultimaris. They are doing an excellent job at taking out a couple of the enemy's units. So far, they've taken out six. And I really wish we could just use this trebuchet right here. I mean, they've placed it here. Can we not just press F next to it to fire? <laughs> that would be amazing. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Maybe in the future. And, oh, what kind of units do we actually have here? Oh, no, look at these guys. This Renward right here does not have a shield. He is a very brave soul indeed, to not go with a shield against Rahara. We know how effective they can be with their ranged throwing weapons, and indeed their bows as well. Oh my goodness. Well, I suppose the only thing I can say is that I'm very happy that we are not against the Redwood Nation or Makavir. Because they are no doubt going to be a lot more effective at destroying shields, a lot more effective at getting ranged attacks, and indeed kills as a result of their damage. Oh no. What are you doing, Hakon Mercenary Cataphract? You appear to be taking quite a bit of damage. I suppose that's what you get for not having your shield out. Goodness me. Okay, so both of our ranged units right here have now brought out their shields. Have they run out of arrows already? Have they? I actually think they have. That is quite shocking. I have to say, that is very shocking. Okay, well, whatever the case, we will just let everyone charge in then, because we don't really have any archers, and the archers that we do have are capable of fighting in melee as well. I am going to be letting a couple of our units go first, because even though I am quite confident with my own melee capabilities... No, no, I'm not. I'm not at all, but still, even though I am pretty confident... <laughs> I couldn't say it with a straight face that time. We are going to be... Oh, no. Okay, we're going to be attempting to get inside here. I'm a little bit worried, i got to say. However, many of our companions are very strong, so I'm hopeful that we'll be able to penetrate their lines very, very quickly indeed, and then we'll be able to get behind and hopefully do a little bit of damage to their archers as well. Like this. Oh, yes. There we go. Thank you very much. Wow, they did an excellent job of getting us by here. Come on, let's do this, Draharan. Oh yes, that's what you get. Okay, so we took out that guy reasonably easily. Oh my goodness, I was not expecting him to fall before us so quickly, but... Oh no. Reinforcements are coming in. But we have breached their walls, which is excellent. And it appears that there is actually no way to get around here, so... Yes, it seems as though I have not been in one of these castle layouts for quite some time. Otherwise, I feel like I would have remembered what was going on with it, but it appears not this time around. Okay, come on. Let's get around. We need to get around them. We are losing a couple of units, but so be it. Oh my goodness, these guys. No, Sandstormers, why? Why am I against Sandstormers right here? This is not good. Sandstormers are pretty good. Oh no, that was close. He had a thrown weapon ready, and he was aiming for our head, no doubt. We are a dwarf, so shields should cover us a little bit better, but you never know. I may have a lapse in judgment, and I may decide to ready my weapon a little bit too soon. Uh, it's happened before. It has happened many times. We will not speak of it. <laughs> okay, so, let us head on. We are actually doing pretty well. Our prisoner squires have entered the fray now. Hopefully we will not lose any of them, because they do take a little bit of time to level up, and by a little bit, I mean a huge amount. Oh, yes. Oh, wow. These prisoner squires are actually very well geared as well. I cannot wait to see what they level up into. I think Parisno Great Squires? No, wait. Parisno Great Knights and Parisno Great Rangers, I do believe, are the two options that the Parisno units have. So I'm very thankful that we have some of those so that we can see 
Oh, that was close. That was very, very close indeed. Thank goodness he hit our shield right there. I would have been a very sad person indeed if I'd gotten killed by that guy. Oh my. Wow, I'm actually really surprised that we're getting so many kills right here. I suppose it's because all the Draharans are very fragmented in their defense. However, as you can probably... Oh no, never mind. We need to deal with this fellow first. How dare you gang up on me? I am Scout Striker Wilkins. You cannot destroy what is immortal. Or maybe you can. <laughs> oh no, the scimitars are too good. No. Oh my goodness. Okay, wait. Maybe I can make a hasty retreat. Yes? A hasty retreat is potentially working. Is it? I'm just going to keep blocking. I'm just going to keep blocking. Oh my. That did not work. Two sandstormers and then I was ganged up on by a huge amount of them. Oh my goodness. Ah oh, yes, huge amount of them. Four or five. Technically not a huge amount. But yeah, there appears to be quite the issue on the stairs. Yes, many of our units appear to be getting a little stuck. But yeah, otherwise we are progressing forward into the courtyard. And hopefully they will take out... And indeed, take revenge upon the Sandstormers. As you can see, these are the Sandstormers and the various fellows that took us out. And hopefully they will teach them a very good lesson indeed. I really did not want to get taken out in this particular siege. I did such a good job in the previous episode, I felt. When I was editing it, I thought, wow, we didn't get taken out in that episode. That's pretty good. <laughs> but this one, oh no. Yes, that totally broke the streak and yes... I don't know whether you can consider one episode of not getting taken out a streak, but I am going to. Oh, yes. So, okay. We lost a couple of units. We lost 11. And what did we lose? Quite a few Drahara mercenary shadow guards, but I suppose that's okay because they do reduce our morale a little bit. But this is the main reason why we wanted to, of course, take this as well as consolidating our territory. We can take a huge amount of prisoners here and rescue them. And we do get to take a huge amount of prisoners as actual prisoners, so that we'll be able to go to the Ransom Broker, hopefully located at Uliastai, if at all possible. And then we'll see if we can sell there. Oh yes, Elokafalki Rangers, we know how good they are. That is for sure. We have 73,000 Aurums, so I think we should be okay on our wages for a little bit of time. And there's not much loot. And we are going to be giving this to Shi Jin. There we go. Very nice indeed. Wow, Marcus didn't go down either. That is excellent. That's very nice indeed. We are not going to be splitting anything here because I do want to keep it a little more prosperous. If that is indeed the case here, because I don't really want to plunder it because that will reduce the prosperity. Even though it is one of our vassals, I don't really want... Oh, I don't know. I just don't really want to do it. <laughs> Pretty much. Oh my goodness. Oh, and he's actually garrisoned it with Draharan units. I'm a little bit worried about that. I was hoping that he may garrison it with Zan units, but not this time around. So, considering we got taken out, we are going to be resting here for some time. They are going to be attempting, yes, they are going to be attempting a retaliation. Now, I'm actually wondering, that is still under siege? Is it really? Or is it just telling me that and the vassals have actually gone away? Because I cannot see. I may be able to see these Drahara and patrols and so forth, but I will not be able to see any vassals. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. How are we doing on our HP? 24%. Really? 24%? Okay, not too good. Not too good. Let's get some more wound treatment. Hopefully that will improve our speed of recovery. Oh no. Aha, here we go. Let's get some Ranger Knights. Ranger Knights sound pretty fun. Let's get some more Veteran Gladiators. Prisoner Nun Cavalry. Some more Bounty Hunters. Whoa, goodness me, we have a lot of units here. Okay, we just need to remember what we're leveling up into. Prisoner Initiates, thank you. Bounty Scouts. We can get some Prisoner Recruits right there. Prisoner Nuns, excellent. And we'll get some Volunteers. There we are, 387 units. And I do believe... Can we chase these guys off? Kind of. Yeah, they're going to be returning there very, very soon. But we need to go and check Volderberg. Large Army of Oh, yeah. Large army of enemies spotted near Volderberg. Marcus, where are you? Oh, this is the reason. Right. Okay. 
Let's head in here. Let's just take a look. What do we have? Okay. Oh, Princess Burgett? How dare you? How dare you show your face? Okay, so she has two Divine Aethlings, which is a little bit... Well, it's not worrying, really. I'm more worried about the Draken Priesters as well as the uh, Dragoneers. And that's not even how you say it, but I'm saying it in a very grandiose manner because those things, they frighten me a little bit. They are very good units. And let's just take a look. Oh, they actually do have Kaiser Otto the Fourth with them, but he doesn't have any good units. He has some... Oh, he has some of his unique units, the Kaiser Dragoneers, but otherwise, not much. However, Suncatcher Castle is under siege as well. So what are we going to be doing? Well, I tell you what, we are going to be heading over to Suncatcher Castle. Oh! Tonju Noyan of the Drahara has been taken prisoner by Reformian Rebellion. Excellent. Okay, we're going to be... Uh, yeah. Oh. Hmm. That's not too good. Okay, wait a second. 4.9. We're going to be attacking this guy really fast. And then we're going to be heading back to Volderberg. And then we're going to be heading on to Uliastai. Hmm, this is not good. I probably should have put more units in the garrison at Volderberg while we were still there. Whoa, okay. We have some pretty impressive shields on the front here. Wow, I hadn't noticed those before. Okay, so let's get ready. The AI is actually just going to charge, which is perfectly fine with me. I would like to get this out of the way reasonably quickly so that we can head on to Volderberg and hopefully help it out. A little bit. I'm wondering what Marcus is doing. I know that one of them has captured one of the Draharan vassals, which I have to say I am mighty impressed at, but unfortunately it is not enough right now. We need a little bit more from them. We need more assistance. Even more. Yes, I know. Very strange. <laughs> ah, Well, we chose them for a reason. They are very good vassals after all, and let's hopefully be able to get a couple more vassals as time goes on as well. We do need to make potentially Dietrich a vassal, which will be quite nice. He does get Draken Priesters, I believe, as his unique unit, so I am quite happy with that. Okay, we need to be careful. Need to be careful. Don't get taken out. Oh no, no. Why is that guy shooting me? How dare you? How dare you? We're gonna take you out. Come on. Yeah, that's what you get. Desert Bowman. Uh, yes. Desert Bowman. Goodness me. Okay, well, I think we're actually fine. I don't think we're going to lose too many units just destroying this particular vassal, but wow, it is not good. We are being attacked on all three of our fiefs. Well, technically, Sun Getcha Castle is not our fief, so maybe I should not even bother. Maybe I shouldn't bother, because we'd be able to take it very easily. Hmm, I hadn't even considered that. Maybe that is the mark of a pretty bad tactician, but still, I feel like I should have assisted Shi Jin's fief until he was able to get over there, and then he could defend it himself while I was over doing whatever else I need to do, which is quite a lot by the looks of things, needing to defend very, very many places, but thankfully enough, I am quite happy that the time does not advance when you are in a siege or a battle. If it did, then, yeah, this would be a lot more active and we would have to make many hard decisions because wow maybe they could implement something that like that that would be pretty insane if the AI was still able to take your fiefs while you were in a battle that would be wow that would be pretty amazing so for example it would tell you this battle will take four hours and in that time Vorderberg could be taken. You have no idea. It could take 8 hours, it could take 10 hours. Depends on how long the ladders actually take to be built for them, but still, that seems like a pretty cool realism option, maybe. Well, we'll see what they come up with in Bannerlord. Oh yes, I know I keep mentioning it, and it doesn't seem as though it may come out very soon at all, but you never know. It may be coming out towards the end of the year. Cross your fingers. <laughs> Who knows? Okay, so Silvethiel and Alden have advanced in level, but we will not be seeing to them just yet. No, Shi Jin! How dare you! He was defeated in battle. Oh, uh, what is this? What is this? 
Oh, okay. You are traveling and passing by a battlefield as you see a plunderer carefully picking through the corpses of honorable men. The man looks up and sees you approach. He looks frightened, but understands that he couldn't escape anyway, so he just stands there, trembling and awaiting his fate. Well, let's just continue on. We'll just leave him to his business. It is no business of ours. And who is this? This is Lord Marcus. What are you doing? Is Volderberg... Oh! Oh! <laughs> Why do I sound so surprised? It appears as though Lord Marcus has seen off the interlopers that were attempting to take Volderberg. That is amazing. Wow, I like that. I like that an incredible amount. Yes, as you can see, he actually has Draharan units in his prisoner hold. So I am very thankful that we made him a vassal. Xi Jin is not proving himself as much as Marcus is right now, so I'm a little bit disappointed about him, but mm, at least he was able to escape, I suppose. Now, we do need to head over to Uliastai as quickly as possible. This is actually quite far away, and it may get taken. Volderberg has been besieged yet again, but I feel like we have a good amount of time. Okay, Uliastai, come on, please. Oh, it's in battle! It's in the battle! Let's go! Phew. We made it. And Lord Marcus is visiting Volderberg as well, so hopefully he will see fit to push them off. Oh, wow. Okay, so we have a little bit more than the opponent. We have 502 against 416. Let us join the battle and see what we can do. Now, do bear in mind that we have not had a good amount of time to rest our forces, not a good amount of time to rest ourselves, indeed, and that is going to cause us to have a great many difficulties, I would assume. So... Yes. Come on, Sakar Raider. You must do a little bit of a better job there. Okay, Kara? Oh, yeah, Kara has a crossbow. I forgot about that. Wow. Okay. She's getting some good kills right there. Female assassin. Let's see you get a couple of kills here. Are you... Oh, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. She took out one of the vassals. Oh, that's why you call her a female assassin, of course. Oh, yes. Just went straight for the jugular right there, by the looks of things. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Well, I feel like we have this in the bag. I don't believe the Draharan units are going to be able to breach our walls with anything. There's no way. I mean, surely. There's no way they'll be able to. Is there? Wow, I'm a little bit worried now. Maybe they are so confident that they'll be able to, but I suppose we did arrive after they had entered, so they really have no choice but to fight us, I suppose. And we do have almost 400 units, so technically they outnumbered us 2 to 1 previously before I arrived, so that is a very good thing to take into account. Now, I did see an assassin sword. Haha! -ha. Hello! Thank you very much. Oh, yes. This is exactly what I like to see right here. Okay, come on. Let's deal some damage with it, if I can. No? Oh my goodness, really? Okay, there we are. A little bit of damage. Okay, we're going to need to jump a little bit, which is a really unfortunate thing. I don't really like jumping while attacking. It's a little bit too janky and clunky for me, but... Yes, I suppose it's really the only thing I can do, because otherwise they're just going to be blocking. I'm going to be hitting the walls a little bit too much. And, yeah, it's not going to be giving us too much feedback, but... Yeah, jumping will get us kills, so I suppose I should just continue to do that. Ah, here we go. I found a little bit of a opening right here. A little. Okay, come on. Yes, take out that Sandstormer. It's got a good amount of reach as well, which I do actually quite like, because the mace, while be it very good for taking prisoners, it is not too good with its reach, so do need to take that into account. No! Our prisoner Ranger Knight was taken out. Oh my goodness, that's not too good. And, whoa, they have Garibian Cavalry here as well. Okay, that's a little worrying. That is very worrying. Okay. Well, I think we're okay. I think we're fine. Our Assassin's Sword is doing a good amount of damage right now. And I do believe, even though we are losing a couple of units, it is not going to be the end of us. And I probably should have put a lot more recruits in here. I should have gone around Makavia myself. Instead of sending recruits out, should have just gone out myself and taken a huge amount of recruits, put them in there, and then had them trained up by the trainer, and that would have been a good idea, but I had to be greedy, didn't I? I had to be greedy, I had to go and take Volderberg, but yes, I should have made sure that Uliastai was completely fine, but do bear in mind they had 400 units, 
400 units is quite a significant amount, and I don't think I would have been able to get that much in the garrison anyway, so there is that. So I don't suppose it is really a defensive error? Maybe it is. Hmm. Not too sure. Maybe if we had about 300 units, it may have dissuaded them, because of course the offensive force is going to be a lot more difficult to handle than the defensive force. So even if we had a lot of high tier units at the front and then a lot of fodder in the back, I don't know whether it would have made any difference because they would have thought, oh, we've got to go through that many units to win. Oh, maybe it's too much. Maybe we will not be able to. So there is that. So I'm a little bit worried, but I think we're fine. I think we're okay. We have taken out about 140 of their units. Hmm, 144, I believe. Somewhere around there. And they have how many? 400. Well, <laughs> gonna be a little bit more difficult than I imagined. No! How dare you? Doing 24 damage. Yes, do not let them penetrate our lines. We must continue to take them out. Okay, so far so good. We've got quite a few Sakaar Raiders here, which I suppose are doing quite a decent job at defending. Whoa, that guy over there. Did you see that guy with that huge plate armor on? Goodness me. That's definitely someone we want to take out immediately. Oh, they appear to be sending in quite a few of their militia units now. Oh, never mind. Who is that? That's a demon priest. How dare they use demon priests in their ranks. Oh my. Okay, that's a little bit worrying. If they have more of those, I'm going to be not in a great spot. Oh, goodness me. Taking a huge amount of damage from these royal riders as well is never a good sign. Come on, reinforcements. Get over there. I command you. <laughs> okay. Well, they have 77 units remaining. We have quite a lot more than that. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what, considering I am a little bit injured right here, I am going to be cutting away, and I will see you maybe when their forces have dwindled so much that it's the last reinforcement wave, perhaps? But, yes, of course, if I start fighting again, I will resume. So, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Okay, so I have been fighting a little bit, and I know I did say I would cut back, but, well, I felt like just standing here and wailing away on them without having to commentate on it, but, yes, it appears as though we have actually just destroyed them. As you can see, I was not actually anticipating getting through their forces any amount of time, but it appears as though they have ceased. They're throwing units at the wall action and well as you can see we have taken out 377 of their units and i have to say that that is mighty impressive we did actually gain a level another level we are now level 27 so we'll have two skill points to allocate and there it is so wow that is pretty impressive look at that 377 units we lost 31 Actually, wait a minute. No, that was allied casualties. We lost 26. Oh, okay, so that was just as bad. Not too much, but we lost dr six Draken Priesters. Six of them! No! That's terrible. As well as some Hakon Mercenary Cataphracts as well. They are so good, but we lost five of those. But I suppose they were paid for a very good reason. Now, let's head into the tavern here. Please, Ransom Broker. Entertainment Guildsman. Ah, uh, okay. No such luck, but we do have a dismounted Limbard Knight, which are actually very good units, so that's a little bit unfortunate, but yes, as you can see, we have fought back the Draharans, and we will be eliminating them in the next episode. So, I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.